Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking old MTV logo in Microsoft PowerPoint. So the left one is an image, the right one is the logo created inside PowerPoint. So let's get started. I will copy this picture into a blank presentation and let's start from this point. I will open the format properties or format ribbon and select colors and this faded gray color just so we can see what we are drawing you know, and the logo is not distracting us too much. I will zoom in as much as I can and I will start with the TV uh, text which is you know kind of like hand drawn text so I guess I will use what's called the curves the curve tool this time so insert shapes curve and I will what I will do is I will basically you know click on the points where I think it should kind of stick to so for those around it I will I will add more points for those longer lines I will add few points just so you know it's nice and curve and I actually don't need to care about the shape that much just because you know it's since it's hand drawn I think it will look fine even if we do it a little bit different so again I will insert shapes curve tool and I will trace the T layer and I will probably start around here as I've said you know just a few shapes for the longer parts for the straight parts and a little bit more points for the rounded parts so I'll probably add one point here just so we can have some kind of like a straight edge and I will probably do the same here I will add multiple points around here just so that the curve is a little bit smaller and it's somehow yeah I've, I probably should adjust this shape ju just a little bit what I will do is I will open the fill properties more fill colors and I will increase the transparency just so I can see what's below and I will right click and select edit points and I guess I need to edit few points for example here I need to have like a straight line this should be more to the top this should be more to the top and you know, maybe maybe even this point should be more to the top okay this I like much better maybe even this point should be a little bit moved I think you get the point you know you can spend hours or at least uh, minutes tweaking the shape but I think that uh, I'm satisfied with the result so I will move those to the side and now I want to create this 3d M letter so I guess I will start with the rectangle so insert shapes rectangle and I will draw a rectangle like this then I will copy paste it and I'm copy pasting you using the control and shift key on my keyboard and dragging the shape then I want this middle part and I believe there should be very similar shape in here so take a look it should be this one it's the arrow chevron I will draw it in any shape rotated by 90 degrees holding my shift key on my keyboard sticking it to the left shape resizing to match the uh, right edge or left edge of the right shape making it a little bit taller and I'm fine with the result so I'll select all three shapes and select merge shapes union you can see that it's not kind of merged because we can see the outline on the left shape so I probably have to just you know hit the left arrow key on my keyboard to make sure that it's a little bit overlapping that it's actually being connected together so I guess we can you know continue with adding the 3dness I will send this to back and move the TV letters in a place where it probably should be maybe like this and I can maybe you know reset the colors for this picture and sample the colors for the TV so open the format shape fill and I will use the eye tool to sample the yeah, red color and of course the outline should be black but I will probably increase the weight to maybe like two and quarter points and the emblem should be yellow so I will select eye wrapper tool and sample the yellow color now I think that you know how to add the 3d effect right you just right click select format shape and in here you select the effects 3d rotation you know you select any of those like maybe the front perspective you increase the depth of the extrusion to maybe like 100 points and now we want this to go to the right side so it would make sense to kind of rotate it ar along the x-axis maybe like this but when you do you see the extrusion but at the same time the letter m is somehow tilted but we want to look at the letter m you know from the front so how do we do this so let me let me show you one example if i insert uh, several different shapes let's see i just insert you know multiple rectangles like this and I will merge all those rectangles together so merge shapes union now when I 
I, I can probably copy this style so I will use the uh, format painter and copy it for those rectangles but I will reset the view to the front view and as you can see if we have multiple objects in front of the camera of course the middle one you cannot see the extrusion but as you move away from the camera you can see the extrusion while the shape is actually facing the camera it's not being rotated but uh, it's kind of a problem to do this for just one individual shape because moving it you know to the left or right side it doesn't make any difference the camera is still trying to somehow align this object in the center so what we need to have is we need to have this object like on the left side and something else on the right side so let's see i will insert anything else like a small rectangle on the right side and i will merge those shapes together so select merge shapes union and now i have one big shape which when i you know copy this using the format painter if i copy this effect so format painter and click on this one now you can see if i change the view to the perspective front i'm looking from the front but since the right object is on the right side of, of the screen you can see the extrusion on the left side and similarly on the left object you can see the extrusion from the right side which is exactly what we want so we can get rid of this object and we can use what is one big object and since you know this rectangle is would be outside of the view we don't need to care about this that much so i will select the send to back and what i need to do is i need to change the color so the extrusion should be blue so effect uh, the depth should be blue so i'll use the eye rubber tool to sample the blue color i don't need any kind of shading so i will set the material to be matte and of course the lighting to be flat but i need a little bit of outline so i will add the contour to maybe like i don't know three points three points seems about right okay so now I, all i need to do is just to delete my helper objects and i have the mtv logo created in microsoft powerpoint in almost no time and that's it Thanks for watching.